talking laundry tips and I'm gonna show you how to never lose a sock ever again. And make sure you guys stay until the end because I'm gonna show you how to get out some of those toughest stains out of your clothing and bedding. So do you wanna know my sock hack? So all you do is you go to Walmart and you purchase a delicate bag. I bought these ones. They were $1.24. Obviously it'll vary depending on where you live. I bought a bag for every member of my family. You could do it per every laundry basket or every bedroom in your family. All you do is tell your family when you put your dirty clothes in the basket, keep the socks separate and put them in the delicates bag. You can let the sock bag fill up over the week. You don't need to wash it every day, but zip it up, throw it in the washer. You keep all the socks in the bag when you wash it. Then you take the bag out of the washer and then you throw it into the dryer. Then you take the sock bag out of the dryer and all the socks are still together. It is the most genius hack ever. And I've been testing it out for a few weeks to see how it's working and it's working well for our family. We did have to make an adjustment by keeping an extra bag in the laundry room on a laundry basket. That way when you're watching TV and you just feel the need to take off your socks when you're hanging out, you can just run them to the laundry room instead of having to go all the way upstairs to your bedroom to put them away. Because let's be realistic, none of us are gonna wanna do that. Make it easy for your family. What's your number one tip for staying on top of laundry? The best thing you can do for yourself when it comes to laundry is stay ahead. I learned this a few years ago and it's been the best thing ever. If you can avoid having a whole day where you save up your laundry and now you have loads and loads and loads of laundry to do and now you have to put it all away and carry all the baskets, it's so overwhelming for you and for your kids and probably your spouse to have to carry and put away all the laundry. And what happens if you have a busy day on laundry day and now you're behind two weeks so take my advice and just stay ahead and let me show you how I do it. I start every day by doing one load of laundry. And I go around the house and I gather all the clothes from each basket. And then I start a load of laundry. Throughout the day when I have another free time after the load finishes, I put them into the dryer. And then when I find time throughout the day, I fold them. It only takes me five minutes because now we only have one load of laundry that is from that single day. So let's do a little math here. Each night you have one outfit per person in your family. Times that by five, because that's how many are in my family. And now we have five outfits per day. Plus each person in my family either plays a sport, works out at the gym, or goes and plays tennis. So now we're gonna add five more outfits per day for our workout clothes that need to be washed. So now you add that all together and we have 10 outfits total. Now you might have pajamas, give or take a day, we wash them every few days. So let's just round it to 12 or 13. So now we have 13 outfits per day that need to be washed every single day. So 13 outfits per day isn't bad when you're doing it every single day, but you multiply that by seven and it starts to get crazy and it starts to get out of hand. And then maybe you have a crazy week on laundry day and now you have two weeks worth and you can kind of see how it can just pile up and add up until you're completely overwhelmed. So if we can just do one load a day, fold it, put it away, have the kids put away a couple items. They should only have no more than two outfits and maybe a pair of pajamas. It's so manageable for everyone. And we just get in the habit of doing daily laundry and daily dishes and our house stays clean and we can stay on top of it. Before you all ask me how I attached the Delicates bag to the laundry basket, I thought I would just show you. I bought this little Velcro at Walmart. It's almost like just like a little strap and then you cut off the amount that you want. So it's really great because you can customize it to however big you want and then you just cut off a little piece and then I wrapped it around the strap. How do you remove tough stains out of clothes and bedding? I'm really excited to share with you guys a couple secrets to getting some really tricky stains out. Now, one of the stains that is constantly on my kids' clothes is ketchup, and tomato sauce is so hard to get out, but I have found a couple secret products that work really well. They're not really secret, but just more unconventional things that you probably don't go for. So, I love Tide. Tide pods are my absolute favorite. I use it for everything. I just cut a little hole in the Tide pod and then I squeeze it into a spray bottle. I already have some made because I seriously use this all the time. So I didn't want to like empty it out just to show you. I just used like an old cleaner bottle and cleaned it out and then I dumped Tide into it. And then you can make it as concentrated as you want by how much water you add. Do you see that I don't add like the downy part 
the softener. I don't want that dark blue stuff in because it can stain things, but the light gel doesn't seem to have a problem on anything I've done it. And I use it on whites a lot. So anyway, if I were to have a ketchup stain, hopefully nothing this big, <laughs> but you just like kind of rinse it out first and then I get it down to the stain and then I just spray the Tide directly on to the stain. And like I said, you can make it as concentrated as you want and put as much on as you want. Now I wanna warn you, it smells pretty strong because it's really, really concentrated. So I mean, open a window or just you know be smart about it. But you spray it on, you can literally instantly see it disappearing um, and lightening. And then you kind of just like scrub at it with your hands or maybe you just wanna spray it on and then rinse and then do a scrub after. You can kind of get like the big, the big easy stuff out really quick. You will be shocked at how quickly this removes stains. I use it on my rugs, I use it on my couches. I'll show you later in another video, like how, I should probably just do like a whole video about everywhere that I use it and how easy. It's amazing to watch it transform. I mean, look at that. I've barely done anything and it just lifts right off. And I don't know if you've ever had a ketchup stain or a tomato sauce stain, like it does not come out that easily. Like this is pretty amazing. So all I do is rinse it out and then I kind of wring it out and then I throw it in the washer. That way I can get all the excess tied out. Now I wanna share with you how to get out a grease stain. I'm constantly getting splashed on when I'm cooking dinner for my family. And it, of course it always splashes on my white shirt. So I'm gonna use some vegetable oil and pour it on this cute white shirt and show you what I would use to get it out that's been really effective. You guys, this Dawn Power Wash is a magic worker for so many different things in your home, but specifically for grease stains. So you can almost like hear it sizzling. It works so fast. I just kind of like scrub it in really good, scrub it as long as you need, and then rinse it out and throw it in the wash. We can't talk about stains and not talk about whites. Whites can be tricky. My son's uniform, he's constantly spilling on it and Sometimes I don't notice until it's a little too late. So I love these bleach pens, but I think they might be discontinued. So what you can do is put some bleach in a spray bottle and then add the amount of water based on how diluted you want it to be. And then just spray it onto the little stain. And then you can use like a toothbrush or a little scrubber to scrub it really good because I love the scrubber that they had on the back of these. So it's too bad they discontinued them. But anyway, bleach sometimes is all that will work when you've tried everything else or it's been too long. So don't be afraid to try that. So then what I like to do is just rinse out the bleach really good and then throw it in a wash, anything that I've stain treated. Let me show you the results. So here is the red and white shirt, no more grease stain. Look how good that looks. Looks like brand new. And then the ketchup is all gone. Good luck with your laundry this week. Go ahead and comment below with your favorite laundry hack and I'll see you next week.